9630 something. I can't think of the name of the street. What's it? Shenstone. Shenstone. 9630 Shenstone. And then the cul de sac here. Really nice houses around here. It's the only ranch in the neighborhood. Some crazy guy in a red shirt taking photos in the front porch there. Don't let anybody in this place. <laughs> All right, so you've got a really neat courtyard walking in. Gas fire pits. This is in the front. Okay. So come on in. Oh, I forgot. On the ranches, you get these huge ceilings. That's probably a, like a 12 foot ceiling. So you come in. Here's the hardwood floors. Here's your dining area. I'm sure you probably don't really care too much about. And then we come in to the right. This is like an office, but there's also a closet in here. This is a pretty big room. And you guys are thinking of like, this is a sitting room for, uh, for the grandma? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe she could uh, have her desk in here, her bookcases, mm -hmm. her knitting, beautiful French doors, ceiling fan. Very open and light room. And then you have a little walkway through here. A nice little towel closet. It's a big closet, actually. Yeah. Okay. Then we have the bathroom, which also has a built-in linen closet. Let's get a light over here. Yeah. Okay. So this is very nice. The linen closet is nice. Double sinks. Okay, and then this front room can be mom's bedroom. It has a nice closet. Is this a queen that we figure out? I think it's a it's full. It's a full, okay. But a queen will fit in here nicely. Yeah. Nice color paint, nice ceiling, ceiling fan. Oh, I forgot you got nice, nice uh, shutters everywhere too. Good windows. The colors are actually nice in this house. Yeah, very, very nice. Carpet looks nice. So now let's show her the master. So okay, come in this. Close. Mom can use the shower in here, which is just a nice size shower. Okay, so this bedroom I've spent a lot of time in. Oh, tree ceilings. I forgot about that too. Yeah. That way, Craig and Darlene can sleep. Oh, that's a big shower. Yeah, yeah. You could put something in there, like a stool. We can do safety handles, mm -hmm. a seat. Great size tub. And there's a little walk in closet for Craig and Dar. Which we have more than enough room for all of our clothes. Oh, this, I didn't see this last time. This is a big closet. Okay, so that's that. I think we're going to put the cat box. Oh, right here. Oh. <laughs> so this is your living room. Family room, excuse me, family room. And let me switch positions because I'm getting bad yeah, lighting with this here. over here. Actually, leave the lights off because this was throwing it off. Yeah, this is fine. I got plenty of light here. Here's the mantle. Nice gas fireplace. Shelves over here. Big room. Yeah, if I put a kitchen table right here. It's a high end kitchen. Get some lights for you? No, leave them off actually. It was, um, I got enough natural light coming in. Oh. Yeah, it's sort of weird. When you get too much of the indoor lights with the outdoor lights, it, it sort of messes everything up. Yeah, like every time I go this way, it gets to, gets darker. This is actually pretty good lighting right here. So let's walk through here, then I'll go outside. This is the butler pantry. Actually, I'll book the lights on in here. So a little butler pantry from here, which would feed into that dining room. I'll show the garage, because that's sort of cool. With the um, tandem. So you walk to the laundry room to get to the garage. 
and it's two cars, but it's double length on the left. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but you come in here, that's a standard size, and a whole other car would go all the way back there. So it's like one, two, three, as opposed to three wide. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So you walk through the garage, the laundry room, and the kitchen. Did we have a, oh we didn't have any views here, I don't think, did we, Dar? I think, I think we were too low. We had a little bit of a park. So this is a walkout basement, so we're gonna be a level above the ground. You've got this real nice deck here. And the backyard isn't real deep, but it's wide. Really wide. That's what he said. My mother thinks And your daughter, too. My <laughs> daughter's used to. So you, you back to like this. I don't know what this is. Like an open space. So you can see the walking path. Which and you can see the house just past this house right there is the access to the walking path from the streets. And there's a park on the other side there. So it's a really nice back area. There's gas grill. Gas grill stub, yeah. Okay, now for the basement. That's probably gonna be an exciting part for her. Big ceiling in here. Did I miss anything upstairs? Did we get everything done? Yeah, we got everything. Okay. All right, so we come down the stairs. We'll do that room last. Um, this is a smaller bedroom. Study area. And actually, this room would still fit a bed in here okay. Yeah. I think the other one's definitely bigger though. This is just sort of weird shape, but if you had a bed going through here, mm -hmm. you'd still have plenty of room on that side. And then we come through here to, oh, it's okay, a bathroom, which has a tile floor, and his favorite. That's actually a steam shower with two shower heads. Which she would only use by herself, never with anybody else. Correct. Okay. <laughs> That's what I would tell my daughters too. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. That's right. This is the spare laundry. Would you make this into a closet or just, you don't need two sets maybe of washers for, and dryers? No, maybe for storage, storage or something. Yeah. Boxes or suitcases, maybe. Christmas. It's nice that you have two of them if you ever needed it. And this is what you're thinking would be her bedroom? Yeah. Okay, so just to give you an idea, you face the backyard from here. Well, hold on. Backyard. This is really nice. And then this was facing north. You have a lot of natural light coming through here. No, but you can use the other closet in the um, spare room too for clothes. But this room is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen and a half by. Oh, do that way too. <laughs> Got a tape measure. By about twelve. Okay, so you're 150, 160 square feet ish. It's about the size of mom and dad's bedroom. Yeah, so this is a good, good sized bedroom. And I like how this is a basement, but you still have the nine foot ceilings. Like you're not short ceilings down here. So let's show her the spare room first. This is sort of weird. This is a um, gym or storage. Dad's office. Okay, so we came in from here. This is a big room. 
It doesn't have any windows, but it could be a good office for dad. Oh, you're fine. Now this is a feature that I really like over here. Mm -hmm. This could be Cody's built-in doghouse. <laughs> that's actually that's bigger than I thought. You could use that for like uh, suitcases, Christmas yeah. trees, Dog. get stuff out of the way. Dog, yeah. Oh yeah. This is the Harry Potter closets under the stairs, and then. We've got the large basement area. Looks like a gas stove there. It's a little hookup. Okay. That is just the store or the uh, access to the furnace, I think. Yeah, furnace and stuff in there, and they got a little wet water back here. Actually, plenty of room for something right over here, too. Huh, you have a sink. It's a true wet bar. Should we get some video of the outside here? Or? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so this is right underneath that outdoor patio. We got roses out back. This is really nice. This part is that walking path just beyond. Yeah, there's that walking path right there. Stairs going up. Oops. Okay, I think that's it. Anything else we need to get in here? Yeah, I'll get another shot of that. So it looks like a three story. It's just a two with the walkout basement. Actually, no, it looks like a two story. It's just a ranch with the walkout basement. House next door looks huge because it's two story to walk out. Very, very nice.